So, the next game in the mainline Shin Megami Tensei series has officially been announced to be Shin Megami Tensei 4 Final, a brand new game in the same world as SMT4 coming out next year for Nintendo 3DS. And recently we had a lot of information on this game, including a Famitsu interview, a livestream event, and also a brand new promotional video trailer. And as a result, we have a lot to talk about, so let's get started. So starting out, let's just recap everything we know so far about this new game. For one, we know it takes place at the same time during Shin Megami Tensei 4, supposedly three quarters of the way through the neutral campaign. As such, Final will be a continuation of the story, and you will control a brand new protagonist displayed here. Our protagonist does not summon his demons through a gauntlet at all. Instead, he obtains the power to summon demons through his cell phone after being defeated and, well, sent to hell. After a short while, our main character awakens in this underworld area and is approached by the demon Dagda, the Irish god. The two form a contract and our main character is reborn as a god killer, with his new ability to control demons to aid him in his quest. Along with a brand new narrative, Final will have many features and improvements from its predecessor, including alterations to the smirk mechanic, improved demon negotiation, brand new demon redesigns, and a completely remade partner system. Finally, in Final... That sounds really dumb. Uh, <laughs> we can select our fifth assist character, which, for the most part, completely ran him in the previous game, and as a result, it gave some players problems, to say the least, on certain segments of the Ma Minotaur! But in final, we can select who will be aiding us in battle. These assist characters include Asahi, our main character's childhood friend, who is also a part of the Demon Hunter organization who specializes in healing moves. Alongside her, we also have the ghostly Navar, who specializes in support magic, buffs and debuffs, and uses attack items whenever he can. The other characters displayed here are still unnamed, but they all seem promising, especially this lady with hatchets. I know it's kind of hard to make out, but yeah, that's not a demon, that's a human apparently. Pretty cool, but let's hope we get some more info on them soon because they all look really, really interesting and I can't wait to see what each of them does in battle. Now let's talk about the new designs. So far, we have seen Medusa's redesign, Lucifer, and Merkaba's respectively, but there are also some other characters shown off in the first promotional video, including this mermaid and this weird peacock horse thing. I really have no idea which demon that is, sorry. I couldn't even guess if I tried, but there are also these three figures that show up. These are believed to be Buddha, Krishna, and Odin. As if I just brighten the image a bit, yeah, you can pretty much see that's who they're supposed to represent. These three are all part of an organization called the Polytheistic Alliance and they claim to want to save humanity, and then they ask our main character to offer his soul as tribute, which doesn't sound like he's saving me, per se. Whatever the case may be, I don't think these guys necessarily have humanity's best interests in mind, or maybe they do, who knows. But it's interesting to see these new gods and how they'll play into the story of Final, as we have an Eastern Norse and a Hindu god all teaming up together to fight well, angels and demons. So I like what they're going for here, having a battle between law and chaos and then this brand new force and we're sort of stuck in the crossfire and having to fight all of them. Whether that's the case or maybe it's something entirely different, I really like these new characters and I'm excited to see what the war between polytheism and monotheism has in store for us. Oh, and how could I forget? So one more thing I forgot to add, and I'm not going to show a picture of this on screen, so you're just going to have to take my word for it, but for the first time in 20 years, the Abrahamic God, Yahweh, will be making an appearance in Shin Megami Tensei IV Final. Lucifer even calls him by his own name, which has not happened, well, it happened in Double Survivor, but it was kind of not that big of a deal, but it has not happened in an extremely long time, so this is an incredibly big deal. Well, for a lot of reasons, mostly this might actually cause a lot of negative controversy for Atlas, which, you know... Here in the States, I could see a problem with it, you know? Hey, you kill God in this game! That could spark a bit of bad press, but then again, all press is good press, isn't it? Hmm. But mostly, we have not seen this character in an extremely long time since Shin Megami Tensei 2, and I think this is gonna get fans really excited for this new game. And also, I'm really glad to see that, yes, he is coming back as a gigantic 
floating head. <laughs> it's just, it's a really fun design, and I cannot wait for my rematch versus this guy. But that's not all. Along with Yahweh's return, we have also confirmation of a couple other new features, like the moon phases are coming back in some form. It's relatively unclear, but we can see at this part of the trailer, yes, there is a moon, and it shows moon phases. There will also be over 450 demons returning for us to control, and a new style of endings. In final, every ending will be neutral to some degree. My hypothesis on what this exactly means is that it might take a sort of neutral good, true neutral, and chaotic neutral spin on the alignment system. Or maybe the ending paths that we take in final will be more like nocturnes, and every ending will be kind of open to interpretation if it's really lawful or good. Either way, I like this idea a whole lot. It keeps the series fresh. We can't just keep using, you know, oh, there's only three endings, and then the, the, the white ending no one really ever picks because it sucks. <laughs> Some people are a bit mixed and bummed out about it, but honestly, I think it can work if executed properly. The Famitsu interview also hinted that some characters from SMT4 will be making an appearance in the story at some point. Isabel has been confirmed to be making an appearance, and when the interviewer asked about Flynn, the hero of the previous game, th the director said, you'll see soon enough. <laughs> Whatever that means, it could be a secret boss, maybe something like, you know, the Demi Fiend in Digital Devil Saga, or maybe, hey, he'll be an ally, like the ultimate fifth party member. I don't know, I think that could be pretty cool too. But despite all the different sources of new information about this game we've just recently learned about, it's still not enough. The official release for the game is like in February, so chances are high a second promotional video will be uploaded as we get closer to the new year. So in the meantime, let me hear your thoughts on Final. Are you excited? Are you kind of upset? For me, I'm honestly pumped. I cannot wait until the next promotional video comes out because this one was great and all, but I, can I just get a little bit more info, please, Alex? <laughs> but hey, that's just me. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching this discussion video. I hope you enjoyed it. I apologize for this one coming out really late. I had some channel issues I had to sort out before I could upload more Atlas content, so I had to settle that before uploading this. But it's all good now, and when we get some more final news, you better believe I'm going to report on it as soon as possible. So make sure to subscribe to keep up to date. Anyways, enough advertising. See you guys in the next video. Bye.